Welcome back my friends. Well, spring is nearly upon us. We're having a few warm days and a few cold days, but it won't be long before I can get some of the plants planted at the back there, the uh, tomatoes and the cucumbers. The uh, courgettes uh, are gone mad, so I've had to bring them out of the grow room so that uh, they can stay in the polytunnel and uh, grow away. And I'll pop them on once they've sucked up some of that liquid plant food. Well, it's the vegetable harvest, the winter vegetable harvest, and I've got this bucket of um, potatoes, Marfonia, and we've still got three lots of carrots left. Most of them were planted in uh, June, July, and this one is June. So I'm going to open the oldest one and see what we've got, see if we've got enough for my uh, lunchbox. As you can see, they're growing like mad, which means they will go to seed. Won't get any bigger. Just wanted to get the label out. So these are the Autumn King sowed on the 23rd of the 6th. So I'll get these out and uh, we'll see what they look like. The root growth still looks really fresh. So do the carrots. We'll get these uh, sorted into a mushroom tray and there's quite a few there. Uh, proves that I've actually put too many in. As you can see, the, uh, the root growth on there is quite, uh, quite a bit and I don't think they'll last another month. We've got some that have uh, gone rotten or they've got the um, carrot fly. So, the test, have we still got a decent carrot? Still good, firm and solid. I should be enjoying those. And I'm even gonna throw that one back in that's got the carrot fly damage at the bottom. I still have uh, a couple of bites out of that. So, pleased with those. And I've got two left. They're not taking up much room. One's got a nettle growing out of it. So, each month, We'll keep revealing the carrots. We'll move on to the potatoes. Now, I have been pinching a few, and uh, as you can see, they're, uh, they're chitting away. And homegrown veggies, what's that about actually putting them in soil to chit them, can really work. Uh, there is some in here that haven't got chits on, he says. But that's what they look like, guys, in the ground throw out all the roots out the top use the actual uh, potato as its food but once it gets going it'll be away and once that touches the light this is where you get your green leaves from and literally they've nearly all got the chits on them just need a few small ones again this weekend again granddaughter's here and you can't beat the potatoes and these small potatoes she loves them it's one way of you know one mouthful and she's uh, quite happy oh what's that one doing so i'll get a few more out well there's probably not many left in there but yes this is the um my potato compost mix and you can see the micronisal uh, fungi on the twigs there that's why when i put the leaf mold in i don't worry too much about removing uh, these type of things every little bit of fungi helps let's move on to where i'm storing my root vegetables well now they're out the ground so in this uh, storage box i'll lay on keep the water out we want them damp but not wet let's go and have a look inside so in here we should have parsnip still good and uh, strong and I think down this side we've got the Swedes Ooh, I'll try to look through the camera that's just a leaf but yeah these are uh, still good and solid so I think I'll take that one and that one today keep that one buried we'll add that to the harvest the chard is still uh, doing its best, so I think we'll pick some of that. 
it's kept really clean considering that all the compost that we're have been mixing close to it it's still fresh good clean very little preparation don't know how long it'll last but hopefully until my new seedlings uh, grow purple sprout in uh, broccoli has made an excellent uh, recovery uh, so are the white fly Yeah, we'll be enjoying those today. I'll take a few more of these. Not a bad little harvest considering the problems we had with the pigeons. Let's go and have a look at the broccoli that was absolutely devastated by the pigeons. It actually turned the plants to skeletons. And as you can see, they are recovering and it was well worth my effort spending that hour or two getting this cover on but this head here is uh, a lot better than I thought it would be considering the damage that they uh, took and that was on my gar hashtag gardening disasters video you can see how uh, how well the kale has done considering that damage that it received it's just going to seed so this is probably the last harvest I'll have of this. No doubt my son will be up later and he'll take everything else off that uh, he wants on his uh, health schemes. Yeah, that stopped it. Lovely. We'll add that to the harvest. And not forgetting the Jerusalem artichokes. I haven't put those in soil they do sprout very easily so I'm just trying spraying in the water just to keep the uh, moisture content of the Jerusalem artichoke uh, at a premium level and uh, keep them in the dark and hopefully they'll last uh, quite a long time so not a bad haul for April it's the f uh, the 15th today so we've got some nice purple sprouting broccoli, some kale, some chard, rainbow chard, some Jerusalem artichokes, Marfonia second earlies, parsnip that actually I took out the ground and left out the ground for quite a while but next year I'll be putting them straight into uh, something similar to what I've done this year, may have more vegetables next year, the swede and the carrots, these will get washed properly at home but I do like to swill most of the soil off so that we don't lose any uh, down the sink uh, as a waste. Let's go and have a tour of hashtag starting a new allotment, plot one. So welcome back to hashtag starting a new allotment. We started off with the gate on the uh, 2nd of uh, October 2016. And I did say it would take two years and we're not far away. We've got lots of things growing, including the, uh, the runners. Uh, just waiting for them to be big enough just to pull out so that they don't spoil the strawberries if we get any this year and everything else is coming along nicely so we've got two rows of raspberries one row of blackberries rhubarb's done really well again as expected even though the crowns have sunk and I had to dig those little spillways the ones with the spillways will be the ones that I'm harvesting this year because last year I replanted in between so there'll be several that we won't touch this year he says we've got Logan berries some of the yellow raspberries and some things we don't know and again as you can see I'll select a few of those to leave to grow up but obviously keep on top of the ones that are growing out of the area not sure whether the vine weevil's still in there probably we'll see how they get on I'm not moving the soil anywhere else else I'm going to spread the contamination con contaminated grubs everywhere else my rhubarb spares are doing well still growing so I'm happy with that This is for the strawberry tower, fed by uh, an internal wormery. 
one of my projects that's uh, now been ongoing for a couple of years. Areas dug for the cut flower garden. You've seen the wildflower and wildlife area, sowed the new seeds. Even though I've dug it over, you can still see in the middle of the screen there the yellow of some of perhaps the cosmos. That seems to be coming through quite quickly. Still haven't done weeded this like I have done that. Done a bit of stone picking, ready for the uh, hashtag uh, potato in a bucket of stones. Still got to do the uh, harbour, get the roof on. Can't sit on it at the moment, but that is my seating area so that I can look across at this. Can't do nothing with that because of the nesting bird and both of the fish survived the beast from the east guttering system working really well only trouble is the water tank is now full and the black pipes drop down the middle so I've got to get something to scoop it out and that post there was holding the guttering up because it's slightly sagging so I've got to fi physically fix that on to stop it from actually uh, dropping off comfrey growing nicely I do know where there is uh, a massive harvest I might take you there one day but there are hidden wells and there are signs up, so do I want to take a chance? Of course I do. Two year old leaf mould sinking down nicely. So come this uh, autumn fall, that'll be two years old and ready to harvest. I've uh, been watering this with my first lot of fish poo from at home. Getting all the bacteria in there and hopefully that uh, it'll all break down. Anybody who doesn't know my channel, my liquid plant foods, that's the banana collection system, another 10 litres there. Wormery, another 10 litres there. Plus I've got some worm castings to harvest for my uh, giant and long, well heavy and long chilies. I'm going to put those uh, on the plot. I've done a little bit of tidying up, not much guys. I'm trying to sort out all the bits and bobs I've got, soot. Clay balls from the compost, log ashes, soot. That's the log soot. There's the comfrey pipe concentrate. A little dis disappointed. I've left that connected over the winter. We've got water in it, so I may have. It may not be as a, 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 a good concentrate as I thought. But over the winter, we have had a lot of rain, but it sh the water shouldn't get in. It might just be dripping off the uh, the, the roof sheets. But we'll, we'll we'll sort it. We'll find it. Again, we need to cover this because water's been getting into my nettle tea and the comfrey. That's all the stalks and the leaves that I don't want. But just does make a good mix. And we'll see this year whether the plants love it or not. And the compost runoff bin, really doing well. Absolutely plenty of uh, liquid there. And once I get this decorating out of the way, and all the other jobs, I'll be able to sit and relax and enjoy uh, my allotments. I do enjoy them now, actually. So let's go and have a little look in the greenhouse. Pentel and javelin, first earliest there, poking their heads up nicely now. Can't remember when I planted those, didn't label them, but that's what we do the videos for, so I can have a look back. Now these will be for the trailing tomatoes that are in the grow room at the moment. May take a chance as when they get a little bit bigger is to get them in here. Just one bucket tipped up and one bucket on top. These are what I got from the side of the road that were dumped by then unscrupulous people that leave compost everywhere. The, uh, can't remember what that is at the minute. That's my peach tree that I found in the compost bin. And that's the pomegranate. And there are signs of life, so hopefully it'll be okay. And these plastic covers. will be ideal for warming the soil up and protecting the plants if we do get a frost, a late frost. I've also done that on uh, plot three. All my trees are showing signs of life. And hopefully this year, the way the weather seems to be going, we may not get any late frost. We, you know, we won't lose the blossom. That's always a worry with trees. Huh. Here's me saying that, and uh, this is the first time I've uh, really got them established in, in the ground. And all the trees on that far bed and the first three here, I haven't got a clue what they are, but 
I did find the <laughs> did find the labels. So we've got a Granny Smith, but I've got a Granny Smith down there with the label still on it, if you can see in the middle of the screen. So if I can identify something similar to that, I'll probably on a winner there. We've got I've got three cherry trees, I know, I've only got one label. A Victoria plum, I've got a plum here, so I'm gonna be looking at that and see how that grows. Uh, conference pear, I've got another one of those, so I might be able to identify that one. And then we've got a coxis, and I've also got another coxis. And there's another coxis, uh, co coxis, orange pippin. So hopefully I'll be able to identify them. If not, hopefully they'll fruit this year. And I'll be able to reattach the labels and make probably make some decent ones. But the video log always helps. So nice just to sit here and listen to the birds, especially early in the morning. It's about half eight, nine o'clock now. It'll probably take... Uh, four or five hours to this upload to, for this to upload so you won't sh so the, see this till tea time I'm looking forward to uh, my allotment adventures this year and in the week I'll be planting my potatoes all the hashtags will be there anybody wants to join in they can and there is a new hashtag going about which is um, uh, the hashtag baked potato challenge from allotmental I think I've got that right if not I'll put it in the uh, comments below but that's hashtag baked potato challenge nice big baked potato shop bought let's see who can grow the biggest baked potato happy gardening to you all happy composting till next time my friends ta for now